I can't tell you how many times I've gone all the way across the city really excited about some new bar or restaurant I wanted to check out, only to realize once I got there that it was so crowded my friends and I were going to have to wait all night if we wanted to get in. It's frustrating, it's disappointing, and it never has to happen again. My name is Karen and I'm here to talk to you about a new mobile application I've been developing, Marauder. Marauder is a crowd tracking application for urban users interested in locating a city's hotspots. Unlike Location-based search engines, which simply return lists of locations nearby of a particular type. Marauder overlays that information with feedback about how popular these areas are relative to one another, based on how many people are currently there. How can Marauder know this? Well, most people nowadays take their cell phones with them nearly everywhere they go. Marauder takes advantage of that phenomenon to detect how many Bluetooth-enabled devices are in the vicinity of bars, restaurants, or coffee shops, and interprets that information for you, putting your finger right on the pulse of the city and letting you see how many people are where and when. I'd like you to meet my friend Chris. Chris is a very outgoing 23-year-old who loves networking and going out with his large social group. He's extremely busy, and he doesn't always take the time to plan ahead, but he also absolutely hates waiting for anything. Chris needs a tool to help him explore the city and find new places to go out to with his friends. He's always up for trying new places, but it's important to him that he know ahead of time that these places not be too crowded because they don't want to wait. Enter Marauder. Marauder is the answer to Chris's problem. All Chris needs to do is tell Marauder what kind of location he's looking for, how far he's willing to travel, and Marauder will return him a map with all of the nearby locations listed and color coded to show how crowded each of them currently are. Thanks to Marauder, Chris is able to pick a restaurant and go out and have a great dinner with his friends and even meet some lovely ladies while he's there. Let's take a little bit closer look at how Chris interacts with Marauder to get this information. Hi, I'm Dina, and I'm going to take you through the steps that Chris takes when he uses his Marauder application. So when Chris pulls up his Marauder application, he now has three very easy decisions to make. The first thing he wants to pick is the type of location he's looking for. He can choose from either coffee shops, restaurants, bars, or a list of his pre-saved favorites. In this case, Chris would choose restaurants because he's looking for a place to go to dinner. The second thing Chris selects is how far he's willing to travel. Realistically, he doesn't want to go much farther than five miles, so he inputs that information. Finally, Chris selects his reference location. The easiest thing for Chris to do is just choose his current location. The cell phone has GPS, knows where he is, problem solved. However, if Chris didn't have GPS on his phone, or if he wanted his reference location to be somewhere he'll be later in the night, he could simply press other, select that location, and input the street address for whatever location he wants to go to. So in a second, Marauder pulls up the map of all the restaurants that Chris is looking at. This point right here, as you can see, is interesting not only because it's labeled as our current location, but also because Marauder seems to have data for this location. Now, Marauder uses a color coding scheme to say how many people are at a given location. Red for very crowded, pink for medium crowded, and blue for not very crowded at all. Clearly, Marauder seems to think that this room is very crowded. How could it possibly know this? Well, because of this cell phone right here, which runs the Marauder application and has been doing Bluetooth scans of the room for the past 10 minutes and detecting all of you. Now, let's take a closer look at the restaurants that Chris has pulled up. First thing he selects is the most crowded one. He's thinking, if it's very crowded, probably means it's a very good restaurant. A lot of people want to go there. Murata pulls up the name and address of the place. Chris is all the information he needs. But Chris thinks, maybe if it's too crowded, I'll have to wait forever to get a table. So he opts for the next best thing, the medium crowded restaurant. Again, Murata pulls up the information for two cheese and the address. Now, Chris doesn't really know how to get there, so all he has to do is click on Get Directions, and Marauder will very easily and quickly provide this information for him, using his reference location as the location that he's starting at. Alternatively, if Chris wanted to add this list, or add this restaurant to his list of favorites, so that he could access it more quickly in the future, he would simply click on Add to Favorite Locations, conveniently located at the top of the screen, and then Marauder would, in the future, pull up that information much more quickly. So in a second, Marauder will pull out for you the directions that Chris needs to get to where he needs to go. Now once Chris has this information, he has everything he needs to know to go to the restaurant of his choice. Now not only does he know how to get there, but most importantly, he knows that once he does get there, he will know how many people are there, he won't have to wait too long to get a table, and he'll be able to quickly and easily have dinner with his friends. 
Um, and now uh, Andre is going to, oh, sorry. And now I'm going to talk to you a little more about how Marauder works. So Marauder uses, Marauder interacts with two entities. On one side, it communicates with the server to send periodic updates every five minutes or so. Every cell phone with the Marauder application on it runs a Bluetooth scan of the room and detects how many people are there, uploads this information to the server. And the second type of interaction that Marauder has with the server is the request response interaction, in which it sends off a request, let's say for restaurants within five miles, and the server responds with the data for these locations. Then on the other end, Marauder communicates with MapPoint and pulls up a map for the user that's displayed and the user can have all the information he could possibly need to make an informed decision and have a great night out. And now Andre is going to talk about the opportunities that Marauder makes possible. Well, Marauder is also an ideal business-to-business -business application. Imagine how interesting it would be for market research companies to have real-time people flow data along retail streets. Imagine how cities or municipalities like the city of Boston are able to invest public money in neighborhoods more efficiently because they know where and when people are. Imagine that the MBTA and public transportation can adjust their bus and subway schedule because they know how many people are at different stations. Imagine that businessmen who have to spend almost every night in a different city are able to plunge into the local city life and culture because they have Marauder and it looks like they have been living there for years. Well, as we said, Marauder lets you feel the pulse of the city. We thank you very much for your attention and are ready to take questions.